Hi, it's Joe at Reds here. I'm going to give you a testimonial or review of the Sims G3 waiter that I've had for about a year and a half. Wore it very, very hard for a little over a year. It was my exclusive waiter. Uh, have been overall very happy with the waiter. I don't have any leaks to speak of, no big complaints or anything like that. There's a couple things I would definitely change about the design. Uh, but as far as a good, reliable waiter, it, it's of no no problem at all. Uh, the Sims G3 waiter, waiter um, heavy duty waiter. Uh, I think it's five layer Gore-Tex uh, in the lower leg in here, real nice and thick material. Uh, comes right up through the seat. So if I'm sitting down on stuff, I've maybe got a little extra protection. Uh, hand warmer pockets in the sides, uh, zippers on them, which is nice. And I'm sure there's only about 800 other reviews uh, on these waders, including you can probably get all this information on the Sims website. So let's just cut right to the chase here. So great things about the waiter, reliable. Been very happy, worn them over a year. When I first got them, they were so much more breathable than my G4 Z waders that I had transitioned out of, which I will do another review. So follow our channel and you can see my review on the G4 Z that I had prior to this. And they felt like they were really good and breathable, but as I've owned other waders like the Squala Carbon Waiter, I've realized that there's a lot more breathable options. So for folks that are fishing in warm weather, so you might be fishing on hot days, cold water, and you still need to wear waders, or maybe you're rowing boats on a river like this. Once it's clear, you would be rowing a boat out there, not today, uh, where you're in the water a bit in the morning and maybe here and there throughout the day, but you're also in the boat rowing where you're gonna sweat and create perspiration. Uh, there are other waders that breathe better to get that perspiration off of your skin. So. I don't think that the G3 breathes quite as well as I would like it to, but the upside is it is quite durable. Um, as far as the pockets and all that go, it's a pretty technical wader. It's got inside pockets. It's got a tippet tender. You can remove this if you want. That's all fine and great. There's an inside pocket over here. There's really lots of pockets and I don't have any complaints there. Um, this to me is a problem uh, constantly is this shoulder webbing here. And I just had to fix it before we started the video. But what constantly happens for me is this winds up here bunched up. It ends up getting rolled around. I could just get rid of that and cut that off and I would be just as happy. I mean, the waders, I don't know how much of the weight is borne by the shoulder strap anyway. So it just creeps up over that. And this is a medium size, standard medium 911. I'm 5'9", 175 and the medium is a real good average fit for me. There is plenty of room in this wader. Um, the medium, I mean, would fit somebody much heavier than myself. You can refer to the size chart, but there's plenty of extra material. I could layer up big down thick jackets under this thing, and I have, and it'll fit just fine. This is not the original wading belt. Another thing I would change about this wader is at this price point, I would say, and this weight, it's not like it's an ultralight wader. I would say a couple more wading belt loops right here will keep your wading belt more in place and you're less likely to lose it. So somewhere along the way, I lost my wading belt. Uh, and if I remember right, the G4 wader, which it does, like I said, we'll review that one in a minute. It does have those, those extra belt loops on the side, which I think would be appreciated. The feet fit just fine. There's no problem with that. Um, these things do sag on me a little bit. I probably could try to jack the shoulder straps up a little bit. Um, but they wouldn't be my favorite hiking wader out of the waders I've had. Uh, the gravel guards are fine. Um, there's no problem there. Uh, they do collect a few cockaburs um, if you're hiking and you're going to get thorns and thistles and stuff like that. They do collect a lot of stuff in that woven uh, material there. Not too much of a problem uh, for most people, but overall, nice, solid purchase, good, reliable wader. I don't really have any complaints other than the ones I've thrown at yeah it could be a little bit more breathable um add some belt loops and uh i'm not sure that this at least for me at my adjustment range um this is just not necessary i could get rid of all that uh and be perfectly happy but yeah good solid product uh if you're fishing a lot in colder weather where you need to layer up g3 is absolutely a great choice